them want to move the emancipation day thing. How much people in Jamaica know where boxing day is all about? Tell me that. What is the purpose of a boxing day holiday? Coming from the relics of British colonialism. Why is it that we have to have a holiday still having this boxing day thing? Tell me something. Tell me something. And they want to take out emancipation day where it's more, more, it's more relevant to the Jamaican people than boxing day. If you want to look something to take out, there's a whole lot of things I can't tell you if to take out, you know. I can't tell you if to take out all Easter, too. <laughs> Easter. You know, it's a joke business. Every, every, well, not every. Most Christians that I know, know, say, this, the man with them called Jesus never born on the 25th of December. Most Christians. Them know, say, this 25th of December was conjured up by some, some people in a room. You know, and this 25th of December was attributed to all of the different gods them, all the different saviors them. We are talking about like Krishna. We are talking about like Buddha. One heap of them from different places was born on the 25th of December. And the same attributes that them have 500 years before the so-called Jesus exists. Them come with the same thing about Jesus too. But we're celebrating a day that claim the birth of Jesus according to Christians. Who can prove that this man was born on the 25th of December? Nobody. Because them know say nobody never born for the 25th of December named Jesus Christ. Nobody. You understand? So, me know them not going to move it, but me just say it. Because it depends on my heart and I have to say it. Boxing Day, which is my birthday, and I know my birthday, they must celebrate. It's something where they go on in England, where they, the worker them get, the, 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 the employer them box up all the things and get the work of them. Call it Boxing Day. No, it's not about licking down somebody in the ring. And we celebrate Boxing Day. If you, if you go out the road and ask most youth about Boxing Day, they don't know what you're talking about. Emancipation Day, they might know where you're talking about, but it makes more importance and relevance to the people them. You know, see, why we have a day where you say Good Friday? It is good that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died on that day. What is so good about a man are dead? Because I'm giving him life. I'm giving him life to make sin come out of the world, and it's worse now. So all these things we have to examine, but as we say, we live in a so-called Christian country and that now go, nobody now go examine it. So we keep repeating the lie. The lie that them feed to we. The lie that them feed to we. Them keep saying it over and over till it become true. Nobody 2,000 years ago named Jesus Christ was born on the 25th of December. That is not a birthday, not an accurate birthday for nobody other than them copied from other gods and other nations of people. And it, it pushed down in a room. And Rome take it and configure it into now where we believe in a... Yes. Yes. And Christians free to examine these things. Yeah, because them says... Them so ignorant in them blissfulness. Yeah, them ignorant in them blissfulness that when a man like me, I say that, no, them say, boy, I'm out I, I, I don't like that boy there, you know. I don't like the boy there at all. But what? It's a truth. It's a truth. Even the Pope of Rome know. Say the man with the matter about name Jesus Christ never born for the 25th of December. Boxing day don't make no sense. In at this time, yeah, boxing day don't make no sense. But they want to remove a day where we, Rasta, put back on the calendar, or agitate for put back on the calendar. Not we put it back on the calendar, but we agitate for put it back on the calendar because of our important significance of emancipation there to our ancestral legacy. And even though we know they've never emancipated like how emancipation is supposed to go, 
But it's a symbol. It's a symbol that is just like a statue. A statue is a symbol that people can come and look upon it and recognize that this person or this dear have a great significance in our life. Yes. So just that we are saying. This is a very interesting article. A very interesting article. And I would all hope people going to smile when they hear this. Smiling, smiling. Cuba begins clinical trials of a COVID-19 vaccine. Cuba begins clinical trials. Remember, I think I went, I already mentioned, said them a workout for one vaccine there. Long before we are here about Pfizer and all them people there. Well, you say the Cuban them are work on a vaccine, you know. Well, right now, them them don't test out them tests, and then, I'm gonna read the article. Really, I'm gonna read the article. Yes, Cuba has begun clinical trials of a potential COVID. <laughs> so I come back again. Cuba has begun clinical trials of a potential co- coronavirus vaccine known as Soberana. O one Soberano O one Grandma, the of, the official voice of Cuba's Communist Party reported in late August that the country's overall biotech and pharmaceutical management group, BioCuba Pharma, has received permission from the country's regulator and authorities to begin clinical trials of the candidate. Vaccine. The group said that it was capable of producing a strong immune reaction to a SARS COVID, COVID 2 infection and COVID 19. BioCuba Pharma separately reported that an industrial production strategy is being developed to build capacity with the goal of having available. The millions of doses needed to protect our population once the studies are concluded. Hey, this vaccine thing will come like tablet, you know. Yeah, you just take a tablet. Yeah, this COVID thing, little more, so much people are going to come like you're going to buy a Fensic or a Paladal, yeah. BioCuba Pharma said that working together, Cuban institutes and universities had satisfactorily concluded the drugs development stage and preclinical studies on animals producing the scientific findings required to support authorization by Cuba's Center for State Con- Con- Control of Medications, Medical Equipment and Devices to conduct clinical trials. Initially identified as Finlay FR1, the vaccine project is being led by the Finley Vaccine Institute and the Center for Mo- Molecular working with the University of Havana Chemical and Biomolecular Synthesis Laboratory. The clinical trial phases will be followed by other clinical studies before the vaccine is considered used. And it goes on and on and on. So Cuba, if you never heard before, is now ready for clinical trials of them COVID-19 vaccine. That is a place that is 90 miles away from us. And you know, say, ironically, people would prefer to take a vaccine from Cuba than a vaccine from America. So every should say America become a third world country, you know. America is like a third world country. Because if people prefer a little island with just about, about 10 million people. Oh, they prefer to have them and take the vaccine more than really go listen to where them people they are say. We just mentioned about Cuba. Depending on the the last lap now after them testing, clinical testing, them called clinical trial. Them don't test it on the animal, them, and now them, they on the clinical trials now, where they're going to start in vaccinate, vaccinate people and see. So, obviously, 
Will you expect the Cuban them to find something still? I don't know. Will you expect them to find something? But something is very disturbing to me. Is that every time I take up my WhatsApp and find somebody, I tell you know some of those people who just have all these whole heap of conspiracy argument. It's like them them are hopes there's something wrong with some of the people them who get vaccinated to say, see, they tell you. I don't understand what kind of mindset that. What kind of mindset that? It's like some of the people them, ah, them I try, I don't know where them I try to convince me about and convince me about. You know, see, me not a vaccination person, you know. But some people feel to take the vaccine because of it's not going to help them. You know, whole heap of people, you know, they, they have some little argument now about the vaccine. Like, yeah, you think say them man, they what about them, them uh, when them, Obama and Fuji and all them, man, they, you think they're going to take it. They're not going to take it. They're going to have a different vaccine and make you feel like. Or somebody, a next person email me, and I, not email me, WhatsApp me, and I say, you see the woman where them get the vaccination, uh, 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 America, the black, the Jamaica, no man. Not never had the vaccine, you know. <laughs> not, sorry, not never had the injection legal, you know. I never said not the injection legal. And the woman who them get in England, the 90 year old woman, they must have water in there. Water in the, in, in the injection legal. No, I can't carry my mind go clear over this, so, you know. I tell you, no. I can't carry my mind go clear over this, so. so if I want one, uh, just, just nobody, no matter we forward me them foolishness there, you know. Though, nobody forward me them foolishness there, because I have too much things for my brains now to figure out if, if, if I, if I what them call it, something in the legal, I have something never in the legal, and all them something there. You know them where they? Anyway, we just are continue. We are continuing the journey, and... We to the people them who find pleasure in other people's earth for, for, for glorify for them thinking. You know, I, I don't know, I don't know what kind of thinking that. So I talk about the people them who open to see something terrible happen with the vaccine them. For shout and jump and say, see them thing when they tell you no, see them thing when they tell you no. I don't really want nothing terrible because something terrible happened already. A whole heap of people are dead. A whole heap of people are dead and it's not a good sight. It's not a good thing. You know, if you see people are ball and them loved ones that cry and people around the corner tell them, say, no, 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 a lie, no COVID, not there and all them something there. You understand? We just say, just ease up half of them thing there. And if you have them kind of thing, then nobody forward it to me. Don't bother forward it to me, you understand? Yes, don't bother forward it to me. I don't hear none of them tell you yet. Say, 500, 1,000 people have it and 600 get better. None of them now send that come here. None of the conspiracies, them, I tell you that. We are tell you, say, this and that are going to happen, and this are going to happen. And that. We know how whole heap of things are going to happen. Because we see that happen already, and we know it's going to happen. Whole heap of things with them say, when I dispute said certain things now gonna happen, and we know said it's gonna happen. But in a, all the whole heap of people who are sending me WhatsApp, them never cut them never say, Boy Muta, you know say in a this country, one million people have it and six hundred thousand get better. Never, never them send that. You there? Mm-hmm. You see yourself as an environmentalist? I do, I do honestly. I, yeah, I believe that, you know, Jamaica, we have destroyed so much of our plants and trees. And I, I think it's really bad. And what has happened to the sea, mm. you know, it was very beautiful at one point. I think we should go back to that. Plant more trees. I mean, yes, incorporate what bigger cities are doing. You know, people are all about the money. But at the same time, you know, you destroy the land around you, you end up destroying yourself. And this is how we have all these diseases coming in. Right. Yeah. Can I tell you that you have a very pleasant voice? Thank you. Yeah, I was told that I coast should coast do radio, you know. This Kuro Kuro brother, I was to look over here, so with the whole coast up, coast up voice. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, you have a very pleasant voice, buddy. You're going to have them voice of soon, angels. If there's anything like angels, you know. Yes. 
All right, look here now. Sometimes people tell you, say, anytime somebody lose one of them senses, mm -hmm. them enhance the other. You find that as true as I choose? Eh? Yes. For right. me, it's true, yes. Which one of, which, all right, you lose your sight. Which one of your other four senses get enhanced? My, definitely my smell and my sense of hearing and my sense of touch, I would say, is very good as well. So hearing, touching, and smelling. Yeah. Okay. And you find it, it is like a, it gets hyperactive. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So for me, when I'm going to sleep, sometimes it's difficult because I hear everything. Yeah. Yeah, so when people in their other rooms, you know, yeah. what might not be loud to them is loud to me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like when you hear the music inside, does it sound loud? Inside where? When we play the music, it through the monitor. It's not loud, but I can hear it. Yeah, okay. So, so what is it that makes you know, say, it, it is hyperactive, the but, other same thing? What is it that happened? I just say, where are they? I can't hear that more, no, or I smell that more. I mean, you, you talk about coming up here and smelling the, 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 the plant. Greenery, yeah, yeah. So you know, say, that, is that you're not in a city. Yeah. So what is it that happened when you, when you hear that make you know said hyperactive. Uh, okay, so for example, sometimes when I'm with somebody, I hear something. Uh, okay, so for example, where I'm living, you know, we all rent rooms. So the front gates, when you open it and close it, I hear when it opens and closes. So I said, I heard somebody say, okay, somebody's here. Who is here? And I said, nobody's not here. Nobody but I said, no, here. I just heard the gate open and close. So somebody just came in. Okay. So sometimes situations like that, yeah. I realize there are things I can hear that other persons other aren't are hearing. Not hearing. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, that is very, that is something we hear all the while about people. If you lose your ear, your hearing, the ability to see or smell or, you know, taste, mm -hmm. get hyperactive mm -hmm. more, more. That is, that is really amazing about the human being, you know, that, that happen actually when them lose one, them gain other. Them yeah. Gain other strength tonight. You find say people in Jamaica is is very willing to help a person who blind, like when you go on the street or so. You get you get help? There are right, it's it's split in between because they're good people and they're bad people. So it's it's a mixture. It's a mixture. What you hear more what what you find out more? The the, the, the mixture is 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 more bad or it is more good? They're more willing to help, or what? Mm, I would say more willing to help. They're more willing to help. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, you know. Have a cane, a white cane. Yes, I oh, do. Oh, you have a white cane. Yes. I didn't know that like a dog. Because like a dog where we go guide you, but you obviously look like you don't need them something there. <laughs> no. Twenty odd years going through. You know, so. All right, but I ask you a question now because. People in Jamaica, you, you, have a, you have a group, you like you have a little group where sometimes you go to where people who are blind will sit down and start to discuss things and times and life and everything. Ah, you just don't bother with that. No, I, maybe there's a group out there, but I know, I, I don't know of anything like that. You don't know of anything like that? No. According to what you're hearing, as it relates to people who... For instance, them say every every building should have a ramp that that people who is disabled mm -hmm. should have moved them wheelchair up and right, right? Mm -hmm. and them uh, let them say other things and them call people disabled. Mm -hmm. You don't like the word disabled, right? Honestly, to me, it doesn't bother me, you know, because yeah. I know what I am. So whatever you want to classify it as, yeah. no, 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 no stress no, on me. Yeah, don't make no difference. To you. Yeah, don't yeah. make a difference. To All right, me. people who. People who find themselves in a situation like yours, right? Mm -hmm. You always hear people say they need to get more help from the government. Yeah. What do you think about that? I think the government should and can put something in place where they can help us more in terms of work, in terms of finding places to live. I know persons who are in a lot of abusive 
that's incorrect persons who are in abusive homes and they can and they need to get out and i think the government should put something in place and they can do it when, when, when you say abusive, you mean homes. You mean private homes or homes that cater for blind people? Private homes. Cause private you, homes. Yes, because you don't have homes that cater for blind persons. Person handicaps, as we, we call it, because we're not just talking about me alone who is blind, yeah. but handicaps on a hold. There is no, nothing in place for us. Yeah. No home, no, nothing. We're on our own, basically. Yeah, 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 and I think the government should and can put something in place. Because it's not, it's not, it's not fully difficult. It's, it's workable. If, if you should meet the minister, whosoever responsible for these things, now, where you that, where you that talk to him and say, like, if you sit up in front of him, where you that want to say to him? That's I mean, I know where you tell me already, Steve. Mm-hmm. But in terms of not only speaking for yourself, but people like you who is mm-hmm. blind and as I say, handicapped, you know, mm-hmm. where, where, where you that sit down and tell him, say, if you have a little fifteen minutes with him. That he's doing a disgraceful job. (laughs) (laughs) Because he he can do better. So much more can be done. We talk about art. For example, when you look at America, America has a lot of bad points. And it has a lot of good points as well. But how they treat their disabled persons is applaudable. Really applaudable. Yeah. And I hope, I hope so somebody out there listen to the listen for ear where I said still. And you see him say, Well, the most of them have no money. Because they have some people lock up in a prison for all 40 years and not try them. You know? Much less you can make be than Well, they can put something in place for blind persons to work. Yeah, for yeah. example, in America you have the Lighthouse Foundation and it's a call center and I um, don't quote me on the figure, but either 80 or 90% of the pers- workers there are disabled, blind, really? and other dis- disabilities. And in fact, I know someone, I know several persons who work there, and I communicate with them via WhatsApp. And they would have never employ you for that. Yeah, they actually, you would be surprised to know that there are several persons there who um who are blind. Here in who, Jamaica? No. In who, America? Yes, who okay. were Jamaicans who migrated and is now they working. Yes, and is now working in that same foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we complain about, um what, I'm sorry, prop, in proper language. We complain about educated people leaving Jamaica. But if you're not helping them, what do you expect them to do? Yeah, that means it too. Yeah. yeah. Must have look, where the grass look greener. Exactly. Well, well sometimes it's not greener over there. Sometimes the other man grass look green and a bush, you know. True, true. You know, a bush over there. But, no, I, I understand quite well what I say, you know. Mm-hmm. Everybody's want to, to up, up, you know, uplift themselves and advance themselves. Mm-hmm. Socially and economically, and if they, they, the opportunity here, you have to go which part to think the opportunity there. Yeah. And you are think that the car center them is a good place. I mean, based upon how you know about the car centers in America, mm-hmm. you are say a car center would be a good place for a person like you for really work. Exactly. It's easy training. Exactly. Uh, can I tell you, I have uh, actually applied for jobs here in Jamaica at several call centers and they they call me, email me again and again and I should come in for an interview, come in for it. When I go there, they said they don't have the facilities for a blind person, but they didn't know that I was blind initially when until I... Until you go. Until I go. But they wanted me because of my resume, because I could speak Spanish, for example. And they oh, need you can sp- speak Spanish? Yes. And they needed people who can speak Spanish. But there's nothing in place for then blind persons want, here. No, really, anybody out there listen to this? I wonder if anybody out there listen to this. The daughter say she applied for a call center because she speaks Spanish also. And them agree with her resume, them love her resume. And when she go and hear that she blind, them say them not have enough space for blind people. You serious? Yeah, several. Several call centers. Like which call centers are? But, Tell no. me, call the name. Call the name of the call center. <laughs> call the name of the call center. <laughs> okay. We are taking responsibility to feed. Call the name of the call center. <laughs> uh, which call center look on your resume? She say you have the necessary things 
the GCE, your, your peak of foreign language. You should have worked in the diplomatic corps. <laughs> and they say you should have worked diplomatic corps. Or you your vice soul. No, man, if you was a angel, you would have wanted to go to heaven. <laughs> you can't just say, hear your voice. You know, and the, 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 the articulation and how you articulate yourself. And they tell you, say, oh, because you're blind. But that now nah, handicap you from doing the work. Because you don't know, say, now nah, handicap you from doing the work. Exactly. But they don't know that. Yeah. Wow. You know, I call the station. You know, I call the car. <laughs> I only remember one of them because there were several. Like, when you say several, what do you mean? Seven? Seven, sev- Muta? Several to the point where I just stopped applying because I got tired of people calling me. Muta, weeks. Email after email after email. Come in for interview, come in for interview. Go there and same foolishness. So, I, to the point, I'm at the point where I just stopped dropping off applications because it's the same thing happening over and over again. You say don't stop. Yeah, just stop. You still not call the car station. <laughs> 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 All right, nobody call the car station. But you don't know, look the work from them. What do you mean? No, no, you're right. So don't look the work from them, you know. <laughs> I only remember one of the names. Because tr- tr- truthfully, we have several different call centers. Yeah, you know, and them have, them have a whole heap of them about the place. Well, right? Yeah. So why wouldn't they want to, if you have the, if you have the qualification, because you're, you're not seeing, what you're, what, you're, what you're supposed to see when you have a call center. Because you know exactly what you do. I mean, she make me bead. You want anything more articulate than that and more precise. It's as like a old sh- sh- string card too, you know, for make the bead them and have the colors them. It look like the bead she have run her neck. It looks like she get it from Paris. <laughs> it looks like a Paris she get it from. And, and as she make it, kind of people see that point and say, oh, where you get that from? People ask, where you get that bead from, don't it? Yes. Eh? Yes. And when you tell them, say, you make it, they say, you make it? Yes, nobody does. Sometimes they don't believe me. Sometimes they believe me and want to purchase. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to tell them to come from Paris. <laughs> tell them, but, all right, if you can do that, which is a very intricate thing to do, to find them little hole there and push the, the, the thread through and, and then sort out the colors them and, and thing. And then I want to tell you now, say, you can take a, a jack and push in a hole and answer a phone round your head and something round your head and, and you should talk. You want to, she could have worked for Irie. I want them, I want them, they be a listen. <laughs> I want them, they be want a person in a, in a lobby there. Fit, 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 do a job. It, 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 but I tell you, Jack said the world no level, you know, really no level for true. Because, why is it that people would have really said no? That is so like when you live some, a certain place and people say, why you qualify, you know, but guess what? You see, you live down there, so mm-hmm. when I get the work. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So if you qualify and you have this handicap, and the handicap is not make it, deterring you from do the work, mm-hmm. why would they not want to get you? She says, I will leave them, she got to. Will leave for them. What other work, what other work you try to get into? What other job? Well, honestly, I've only, I've only tried for that. Oh, and then after that, you don't say, chow. Yes. Enough is enough. Enough is enough, yes. Yeah. And you feel good because you're independent. Exactly, and you I'm starting own my own business and everything. You have your own key. You have your own money. Mm-hmm. You can't go where you want to go. And I have something there. Mm-hmm. All right. When you travel, you, you don't get no one for go with you um, all the while. All the while. I mean, all the while. No, because... You travel by yourself. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like when you go, all right, when you go up on the, the market, mm-hmm. the, 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 the night market, mm-hmm. what, you, you alone go? Well, no, because I needed help to set up. Okay. Someone came with me to assist me. Yeah, and well, the, the, the organic market, you know. But I've never seen one of the organic market yet. No, Maybe I've never. Still, but... well, I've never set up around there before, but I'm going to go on Sunday. And Sunday, Sunday. Yes. Sunday, no, they have them at the plant market, that. Yes, Sunday is where you play? Yeah, where we that play, yeah. Yes, yes. So, I'm so, going to so start how you did last week, Sunday? Well, oh no, okay. So, 
I was there on the Saturday, not the Sunday, remember? That's the organic market. Yes. No, but you were there on the Sunday, Sunday, I meet you. That's true, but I only came to see Auntie Jackie. Okay, 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 yeah. So this Sunday, you're going to be there? Yes. You're going to share food to that? Yes. Yeah, man, because she's good for that, you know. You're not the right hand, you know, I tell you that, you know. <laughs> okay. No, man, you're not the right hand, man, trust me. She's good for that. I know people, she, she help. And now I say it and talk about it. You understand? Mm-hmm. And when you see she, she call me and tell me, say, I have to meet you. I feel, say, me not, me not, me not, me, me, me trust her, me trust her instinct with mm-hmm. people. In certain ways. You understand? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man. It's really, Behind every strong man is a stronger woman. Every so, strong man is that stronger woman. Yes. You know, me now go say nothing about that. Me now go say, let me put your music down. Let me now go say nothing about that. So, I want to yell up Sean Paul. I want to yell up Sean Paul. And there's a reason why we are yell up Sean Paul. Because Sean Paul have a brand new tune named Guns of Navarone. For those of you who know the old movie, there's a old mo- a war movie named Gulls of Narrow Sir and David. I think a David living the man didn't name. Where some big gun up on the side of a hill where the German them use for blow the ship them. And the only way they can get to the gun is to climb the steep mountain. Well, them eventually climb the mountain and blow up the blow up the um, the gun them and get the ship them free water away for come through. That is the history of the name Guns of Navarone. Well, now, we want to play this tune, yeah? We are told that this is the first time it ever play. And the reason why I'm going to play it is because I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it, you understand? And it's, the, it's a short part of Jesse, Jesse Royal tune. So I'm going to play this tune yeah, for the people there, you know? Yes, first time of the year, anywhere. With a... Uh, Sampling of Mutabaruka, yours truly vice. 